Is this an addiction? Is it greed? Is it need? Or is it simply want? Welcome to another Rita Ora collection at a Primark. Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Andre. I am here with another Rita Ora collection at Primark. We are going to do a try on haul. We are going to talk about sizing and pricing and anything else you need to know. But before we get into that, I would love for you to subscribe if you have enjoyed this video. A thumbs up is always very much appreciated. Give me your comments down below what your thoughts are on the collection, if you have bought any of the collection or anything else you want to say down in the comments. And whilst you're doing all of that, you can tingle in my belt as well. Okay, sit back, relax, put your feet up, make sure you have your favourite beverage at hand, whatever it may be. I have a little whispering angel. Cheers. Oh, absolutely delicious. Down in my description box, I will link any previous Primark hauls that I have done or any shorts videos that I have done modelling any of the clothes. So remember always to check out the description box down below. Okay, just for reference, I am 5 foot 5. I am a UK size 10. I normally wear a size small from Primark. Some of the clothes from the Rita Ora collection I have had to size down in. But I think they are designed to be oversized as well. Shall we get started? So the first item I bought was this. Well, it's not actually the first item, but it's the first item from this haul here. <laughs> so it is this long pleather, full leather coat from Primark. Originally, I wanted the black one, which wasn't actually a Rita Ora one, but it was a Primark one. But every time I tried the black one on, it didn't feel quite right. So this brown one here, the Rita Ora one, retails for £45. The black one retails, which is not Rita Ora, but is Primark, retails for £40. That one doesn't have the detail at the back as this does here. I just felt this one had a little more detail about it. I love everything about this. I love the details on the sleeve. It just looks really really expensive it has the lovely detail there the lovely detail this is basically in the style of a trench coat i absolutely love this i went true to size with this in a size small which is a 10 12 in uh, pre-mark and um once i bought this i felt i needed the boots to match say no more people say no more but there are a pair of boots to match here as well so i was also in next and i saw a coat that was practically identical to this and it felt lovely but so does this it feel really lovely this doesn't have a horrible odor you know like some pleather full leather i don't know what you like to call it but i i call it pleather and sometimes I call it full leather. It sometimes can have a horrible, some people describe it as a fishy smell. This has nothing, 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 nothing. And I found that with all the items that I bought from the Rita Ora collection, none of them have a horrible smell. I've got the long skirt, which you will see in my other Primark hauls. I bought loads of boots, loads of boots from the Rita Ora collection. This is lovely and long, which I love about it. My Burberry trench coat kind of cuts at the knee. So I love that this goes really, really, really long. So this is my first item, 45 pounds in a size small. Absolutely love it. It's got two side pockets, working pockets no pockets in the middle lined as well and absolutely lovely by the way the one that i got that i was talking about from next that one if i remember correctly was 95 pounds 45 pounds for the one from premark and 95 pounds from the one from next and i will insert footage wherever i can right what should we go on to next should we go on to the boots yeah so when i bought this coat and i tried it on with different boots that i had in the house it, it didn't feel right and if i had to be honest the reason that i think it didn't feel right was because 
I had seen the boots to match. I'm going to be totally honest with you. If I hadn't seen the boots, I wouldn't have even thought, oh, these boots that I have done even match the coat. No, I wouldn't have thought that, people. But because I had seen them, they kind of went into my wee computer up here. And I thought, oh, you need the boots to match. So, of course, I hunted down the boots. I think these were £28. I have these in black as well. I've done a lovely shorts video with the boots. <laughs> and coat together so the zip on these doesn't go right up it just goes up to there i find this sit really lovely around the calf and everything i've got quite big calves quite muscular calves because i work out a lot and they fit me fine they've just got enough gap at the top there i, I love the i just love everything about them people comfortable feel soft no smell and true to size so i am a size 6 uk 6 39 and these are true to size not too small not too big fit me perfectly with a thin pair of socks on just absolutely love them and they look amazing they are a true match people they are an absolute true match what else can i say about them they're comfortable they're 28 pounds for a pair of boots honestly and they look a lot more expensive than that and they don't look plastic okay <laughs> let's be honest here so my next item is this blazer here now i have tried lots and lots of blazers from the rita aura collection and honestly i i'm just not for the oversized blazer i really don't like an oversized blazer my favorite blazer that i have is my Balmain blazer and I love the detail and I love the cut of my Balmain blazer the way it all cuts in the structure of it it's a feminine blazer and I think for me I look for that from a blazer I don't want a blazer that makes me look manly <laughs> it's the only way I can describe it I like my blazers to kind of cut in in all the right places and this one does this again is from the Rita Aura collection. I tried this on in a size 8 and a size 10 and I fitted in both of them but I decided to go for the size 10. It's absolutely beautiful. Look at look at the detail on the back here. So you can loosen this blazer so it's not as figure hugging. You can tighten it. This is all very adjustable. You can even bring this round to the front if you like and tie it in the front. The options are absolutely endless. Absolutely love the cut of this blazer. How much was this? £34 for a blazer. It is lined. It is absolutely beautiful. Does it have any working pockets? Normally what I find the pockets are stitched but you can then unstitch them. Let's have a look. You, let's have a look from the inside. You probably can. Again, you have one here. You probably could unstitch the pockets. Would I Would I actually put things in these pockets? No, I wouldn't. I'd, I'm not one of these people that loves pockets and everything. I don't like pockets in dresses, especially sitting on my hip. They're just going to emphasize my hips. I'm really, I don't get it. See when I see all these vloggers, bloggers, whatever you like. Ah, it's got pockets, amazing. And pockets in a wedding dress and all. What a whole load of nonsense, people. I hate a pocket in a dress. I am not going to stick things in the pockets of my dress and bulk everything out. And, no, it's not for me, people. I'm not that type of person. We have handbags, people. We have lovely handbags to carry our things in. <laughs> Why would I be sticking them in my pocket? And it says how I actually do my coats and things. Anyway, all that said and done. So absolutely love this. It is, was this double or single breasted? Looks like it's single breasted to me. There we go. Is it? Yes, single breasted. And the long lapels. Love the cut of it. Love the length of it. This, honestly, with a wee short skirt, beautiful, with jeans, with leggings. Put a plain pair of leggings on and a polo neck. Add this to the top. Nice pair of boots. Nice handbag. People, Bob's your uncle. Away you go. That's all you need. Absolutely stunning. Love it. This comes as a as a trouser suit, but I'm not liking the trousers. The I don't like big flary oversized trousers but the trousers have got lovely kind of crisscross detail on the 
waistband and all of that but I, I love the jacket it was a jacket because I think it's so versatile into changing an outfit so absolutely love this so this is item in number two well actually it was item number three because we included the boots didn't we okay the next item we'll just not number them incidentally before I get onto the shirt the top I am wearing just in case you're wondering is also Primark not Rita Ora but pre-mark. The rose that I'm wearing is also pre-mark. The headband I'm wearing, and I'm wearing a headband because it is Vlogtober and I wear headbands in Vlogtober, is also pre-mark from the Halloween section. And so are these beautiful earrings as well. Just in case you were wondering where everything was. So it's, I'm very much a pre-mark girl slash Chanel. <laughs> <laughs> right next item we have this shirt and I have been looking for a shirt like this and I was checking Zara and checking Zara nothing was ticking all the boxes for me until I saw this in Primark now when I say nothing was ticking all the boxes you know you've got to take into account not only the item but the pricing and all of that as well okay so I saw this shirt in Primark and it just I was like whoa that's the one it also comes in white it is long I like to tie it at the waist and it has these little sparkly diamond embellishment all on the front all on the sleeves if you can see it it doesn't have it at the back it has it on the collar all the way around front and back now I don't I'm not a real great fan of the way the the collar cuts I try and turn this up I might even starch it up and um, so it stays up I like to style it up so you can wear this that this is long enough to wear over leggings to cover your bum bum or you can tie it up around your waist if you want you can kind of change it about and um, oh, I can't remember how much this was 20 pounds this was 20 pounds absolutely love it have not washed it yet I have worn it but I haven't washed it yet I'm terrified to wash it now what I will say is these things are all glued on and if you look on the inside of the shirt let's get closer to the camera you can see let's find a quite you can see the glue has gone through if you look on the inside of the shirt so you can see can we see all the dots there and that's what it looks like um, close up so you can see the, the glue on the inside but you know when you're wearing it like this nobody's going to know that there's glue on the inside there so I personally would hand wash this I wouldn't put it through the washing machine because I feel once one of these comes off you're going to see you're going to see the mark where it was glued so you're going to have to find something to glue back on if you've lost the stones so you would have to replace the stones if they fell off or I don't think you would really be able to wear the shirt again because it's marked it will be marked with the glue now these shirts are designed to be oversized but boy are they oversized so this is in an extra small and it is still oversized so there's no way I could have got this in a small it was really far too big in a small I did try both on when I was in pre-mark but it was far too small so it's got a bit of pleating at the back as well and that's what it looks like Let's see this jumper. I absolutely love it. Okay, but really, I mean, you have to keep doing this for it to look good. <laughs> I'm just being honest, people. We're here to review. <laughs> honest reviews. Okay, let's go on to the next item. See, before we go on to the next item, by the way, it, I have bought so much from this collection that the staff recognise me and it's even at the changing rooms the girl it's been always been the same girl at the changing room she said oh, you're back again today today she, i was there today people she said to me you've spent an absolute fortune here as a said i know i don't need you to tell me thank you very much or remind me <laughs> she actually said that to me and then one of the sales assistants where i pay oh she's like you have bought a lot from this collection and then I, and then the one time i said no i'm not coming back and then i did go back of course and she said i thought you weren't coming back that's how ridiculous it's got with me in this collection it's really got ridiculous and it's all that i'm really wearing just now so when i go into pre -mark, i'm actually wearing this collection i'm going and modeling it for them people okay next item we have this two-piece jumper here so this is 
a two piece so you can wear this itself and I suppose you could wear this with other kind of vesty tops if you so please it feels really soft it really does feel lovely they are really honestly good quality clothes I've absolutely loved that I've washed a couple of the jumpers that I bought from Primark and they have washed really really well and they dry really quickly as well so this was in a size small this is 18 pounds and like I said it's a two piece now when I initially tried this on I was really quite unsure about it because I was wearing you know like my everyday ugly bra and you could see it when I was lifting up my arms and all of that and I was like oh this doesn't sit right so today I tried it on with a nicer bra and hold off insert the footage here it is on with a different bra so you can see now the bra is not showing well the straps are there but that's easily solved you can just put like a strapless bra on you need to watch this can kind of move so you need to kind of be careful i haven't detached this yet it's attached with wee plastic things um, and i haven't detached it yet but it does actually feel much better now that i've got a uh, different bra on here we go <laughs> feels really nice so you can see it looks really 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 nice um with you know the proper bra it's absolutely fine with it so absolutely loved it when i was trying this on i had it on with mid-rise jeans so you could see a gap but i reckon if i wore my high-waisted jeans they wouldn't be that gap so yeah love again it's ridiculous i know i know i know i know i know does the jumper collection end there no of course it doesn't because i was down today and what happens when i go down i went down today to get my hair done to get my color done people isn't it lovely so of course this this is when i buy things i don't specifically go down to primark not often but i'm down there you know if i'm getting my nails done if i'm getting my hair done if i'm getting my eyebrows done if i'm getting bits and pieces done i i, I jump into primark and come out with half a dozen things <laughs> so this was my next item now I, this sometimes looks like a dark grey and sometimes it looks like a black and I find a lot of the their things are like that okay so we have a uh, look at the detail on this isn't it beautiful and a lot of the Rita Ora collection comes in multiple colours this one was £16 people I mean £16 again this is kind of a little cropped depending how high or how low your trousers are and again i picked this up in a size small and yeah that's what this looks like on absolutely love really warm and cozy and just nice what else am i gonna say about it look i mean there you go my final item actually no it's not my final item <laughs> a dress i did say when i showed this on my previous um pre-mark calls when i was showing footage i did say this this one was going to come home with me this is one that again i feel it's a very versatile dress you can dress it down with kind of flat combat type boots and a leather jacket you know kind of yeah you know make it kind of rock chick style or you can dress it up with nice shoes and kind of nicer stiletto boots and oh you could, you could do lots of things with this you could put a belt around it you can honestly put the rose and, you know honestly you could do so much with it so this is really really long it's figure hugging but in a nice way it is double layered so it has the kind of the see-through layer and then it has that layer inside really comfortable really easy to wear kind of see-through sleeves like so absolutely love it how much was this this was 18 pounds and again i got this in a size small absolutely love it couldn't get it out of my mind so i just decided to bring it home with me do we like i like i love it
Okay, just before we go into the final item that came home with me, I'm going to show you a couple of things that didn't come home with me. Specifically this first one. I'm going to be looking down now because I'm going to be looking at the footage whilst you're looking at the jacket. So the first one is this full leather jacket. Now, this has been all over YouTube because this is a dupe of one that is in Zara. So this is like a bomber jacket. It retails for £36. It is a lovely jacket. It's just not my style of jacket, but it has great detail. It has the belts, it has the zips. It has the detailing at the bottom of the jacket. And like I said, it retails for £36. I tried it on in a small, it felt big and baggy and didn't feel it did anything for me. So therefore it didn't come home with me. The second item, now this has been a great big dilemma for me and it's these jeans here. I love them, I hate them, I love them. I've been in and tried them about three times now with different types of boots and everything and tops and they're a different style to what I would normally wear, but I love the colour of the denim. I do like them, but I, it's a love-hate relationship, so they haven't come home with me as yet. Right, these are the boots that originally started me off wanting boots, and I couldn't get hold of these boots. So my cousin got them for me and sent them up to me. So they are a wedged, is that a wedged? Yeah. That's a wedged heel. So I think this is a good alternative to my other boots. So if I don't want to wear the cowboy ones because they look a bit too casual and I don't want to wear the stiletto -y ones because they're just a bit too dressy and I, you know, this is in between the both, isn't it? So I've got kind of the wedged heels. So it's not going to get caught in between, caught in between, you know, the pavements and all of that. And it's kind of, Yes, it's a more dressy boot, but a not overly dressy boot, and it's just perfect, and I love it. Not sure of the price of these, but let's say they are £28. I'm not sure because the boots vary between £26 and £28. The, there was no price on them when I received them. Again, true to size, the zip goes all the way up. And if you've got big feet, these make your feet look little. I'm like I said, I'm a size six, and when I put them on, I think, oh, you've got tiny little feet, Andre. There we go again, really comfortable, no smell, oh, just squishy, and absolutely love them. So those are my latest items from the Rita Aura collection at Primark. I know it's really quite ridiculous. I needed to update my wardrobe, people. I know I keep making excuses, but honestly, I have really, really loved it. I have enjoyed wearing it. I have really, really enjoyed the collection. The quality has been good. The price point has been good. I have overdone it, uh, admittedly, because I, I don't just buy things to show them here on YouTube. I know a lot of people do all these hauls on YouTube and then return them. <laughs> My thing is I buy them and I buy them because I want them and I, I share them with you. So all that's left for me to say is thank you very much for joining me here. And remember, if you would like to see more videos from me, I'm going to link one here, here. And if you're not already subscribed, I'm going to put an A right here for you, which is going to help you subscribe. So cheers. And I might see you either here or here. Bye. Cheers. <laughs>